Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, some of you have been asking what Tiny11 is, and we're going to talk about Tiny11. And I'm going to show you a link where you can actually get it. But um, be warned, I, you know, this is a uh, image, a Windows image that's been played with and that's been, you know, changed by someone. So, you know, you never know what could be in those images when uh, they come from some unknown source. So Tiny11 is interesting project. It's taking Windows 11 and stripping it from all of its different uh, tools and options that are not necessary for most people. So it's really stripping it down to the bare bones of just getting Windows and the minimum functionalities for it to work. And um, it's very surprising the difference. First of all, when you install Windows on your PC from scratch, um, it takes roughly 20 gigabytes of disk space. So this is one of the first things that you notice is how, um, you know, how much space that Windows 11 takes. But if you actually use Tiny11, which has all the extra removed, you actually can install this for about 8 gigabytes, which is much smaller than the 20 gigabytes that uh, Windows 11 usually takes in the standard install. So it tells you there's a lot of stuff that's been removed, definitely. Um, it is the same interface, but like I said, they've stripped off a lot of stuff, so it's really a bare-bones Windows. The amount of RAM that it actually uses as minimum requirement is also different. The minimum requirement now drops to 2 gigabytes uh, when you actually uh, install um, the Tiny11 Windows operating system. And this is interesting because the minimum requirements is 4, but what's more interesting than that is that by tweaking, there has been some uh, user that has been able to actually run Windows 11, although very, very, very slowly, on 192 megabytes of RAM. Only 192 or 196 megabytes. We're at a small amount here of RAM. It's it's typical, you know, Windows and XP install RAM from 2000. So this is kind of interesting. It tells you of how small this is, uh, basically. So um, it is also stripped of everything that is extra, and that means languages, keyboard choices, everything that is not needed. So when you install it, it's just bare bones English. Uh, I see a lot of people saying, well, it doesn't have this, doesn't have that. Wake up. This is stripped everything. It's in English. It's in the basic form of just a Windows operating system running. And it apparently runs very smoothly even on old systems. So this is kind of interesting. So if you want to try it, and I mean, it could work, it could not work. This is very, very, uh, you know, sketchy. I see a lot of people having problems and complaining that it's not installing or not working. Um, of course, you can try it if you want. If you have a, especially if you have a spare machine, I think this is a, a cool experiment to check out. So this is the page where you can get it. Here at the bottom, you'll see that there's an ISO image that you can click on and download. This is where you'll download the image for uh, the Windows Tiny 11. So you see it, it's downloading here. It's a three gigabyte file. Uh, which is much smaller than the roughly 7 or 8 gigabytes of a uh, standard ISO that often you see six between 6 and 8 gigabytes. Um, once again, it's a stripped-down version. Once again, this comes from an unknown source, so, you know, beware, don't install this on as a main machine. But as an experiment on maybe an older computer, this could be an interesting experiment if you want to try it. So I'll leave the link here. I don't know how long this is going to actually last, but as long as it's available from the Internet Archive, you'll have Tiny11, a very, very basic stripped-down version of Windows 11 that can run on as little as 2 gigabytes of RAM and on a much smaller hard drive. Uh, and with all the stripped-out extras, probably runs quite smoothly. So... Um, the link is in the description below. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.